on June 16th, 2016, I started on a journey to stack gold and silver to protect my wealth, protect my buying power, and prepare for my future. It's been a crazy journey. A few years later, I have amassed over 5,700 ounces of silver, almost 12 ounces of gold, and I'm gonna take you through this full stack video right now of my journey, my adventure, stacking gold and silver around the world. Over the years, I've received many comments about it being fruitless. I should be in the stock market. It's a waste of money. It's a relic. Well, I think with recent times, it's only reaffirmed why I did what I did and why I stacked so hard. So if you're ready, if you're ready to go through this together, let's do it. But let me try to give you one quick shot. Oh, one full shot. Here we go. I probably just got a copyright strike from Jurassic Park. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's International Stacker, and let me show you my full silver and gold stack. Let's get into it. International Stacker. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see, so you're gonna see about 5,700 ounces of silver, maybe a little bit more. You're gonna see almost 11 ounces of gold. I've spent a total of $116,000. Since then at today's spot, prices on the market, and it's worth another $57,000 at almost $180,000. Are you ready? And all of this you see, my dollar cost average, is $18.27 for silver and $1,281.27 for gold. Oh, and finally, it's over 380 pounds, probably more like 400 pounds, eh, maybe 390 pounds of silver and almost a pound of gold, three quarters of a pound of gold. All right, well, we're gonna start with some fun stuff and I'm gonna take you through the poured silver and I've got it organized by the creator. So um, if you don't recognize this, this is from the Mandalorian. And I know what you guys are thinking. The last time I did a full stack video, I said I was never gonna do another one. Well, the time has come where I'm moving my entire stack. I am moving it out of state. I'm leaving California. I'm evacuating like a lot of others and there's no way I'm gonna leave this behind. So it is being moved to a very safe location. Um, so the bonus of that is you guys get another full stack video. So Mandalorian, um, this first set of silver I'm gonna show you is all called poured silver. The artist is MK Bars, he's one of my favorites. So the Mandalorian, some cool US style uh, silver here. And I'll release a full stack poured silver as well. So if you wanna see this stuff more in depth, you look for that video. This is all MK Bars, look at this. This is 10 ounce anonymous mask, super cool. And I already know, I always get a few hateful comments when I show my full stack. I'm not showing this to brag. I'm showing this to share my journey and to show you all what's possible. If you focus and work hard what you can accomplish, I want you to learn from my triumphs and I want you to learn from my mistakes. So this is all MK bars, what you're seeing here. Um, that's probably a few hundred ounces. Some cool things is here's the Salivate Metal channel rant he did. He did a lot of channel rants for different YouTubers. And I got three of the silver baggins uh, when Silver Dragons used to be Silver Baggins, folks, but the company from Lord of the Rings that owns Baggins came after him. So as soon as I heard that, I bought up three of those because I knew they're going to be rare. Egyptian stuff. Look at this. Game of Thrones. The hand from Game of Thrones. Super awesome. That is a uh, what 6.8 ounce piece. Uh, we got some Alanis Mint here. Silver. We got some Jaeger Poured Silver here. Uh, this is my only Asgard, and I bought this on Provident Metals back in the day, and it ended up becoming super rare. This has a crazy premium on it. Some Sons of Liberty. The Bear. He's a member of the YouTube community, and this is something I would imagine that sits in, uh, you know, blocks like this of gold in Fort Knox. If there's even gold in there, there's no gold. High Five. Pit Bullion. Um, High Ho Silver, also known as Bunker Bullion. 
and look at this puppy here. Now IS, why'd you put on a glove? You can touch port silver, you can. But I wanna keep this thing pristine. Look at this, bunker buster prototype. Look at the stratification on that. Look at the bubbling. Uh, Hi-Ho Silver did that one special for me, super cool. Coming over here, we got some bison bullion. Uh, Mendo Mint, so Mendo made this for me and I bought these three off of him. This is all backyard bullion. He's a silver pourer um, from the UK and I bought all this off of him. Uh, he made this special round for me. I had two of these and I gave one of these away on my Mega Gaw, um, a couple, two Mega Gaws ago, then I gave away a Kilo. I've got another Mega Gaw coming guys. If you want this Kilo and a bunch of other silver, subscribe and hit that bell. If you're not subscribed to me, subscribe and hit that bell, smash the like, leave a comment below. Uh, this is Beard & Co. I bought this when I was visiting Backyard Bullion in London. That's pretty cool. Um, this is my most expensive silver piece. I paid 360 bucks for this, I think. And it's eight grams, but it was a benefit auction for Tomoko's Enterprises and we earned enough, I think, for him to get his prosthetic. That was cool. Some Mutiny Metals, if you can tell. I love pirate stuff. Uh, this is all Silver Slacker. He was the stacker I watched a ton when I started to get into silver stacking, so that's all Silver Slacker. Um, this here is Scottsdale Silver. Let me zoom out a little bit. Scottsdale Silver. So these are 20 ounce bars, 20, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. That's 140 ounces right there. These are 10 ounce lows. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's 80 ounces right there. Coming up here. Uh, this is Monarch Precious Metals. Some really cool stuff. I love the Egyptian stuff. Got one of these. Don't dare say that word out loud. Probably get banned. I uh, got 20 something ounces of silver shot right there. Uh, this all here is actually Silver Dragons, but a lot of it was when he was Baggins. Novus Stacker had this made from a special. Thank you, Novus, if you're watching. Uh, silver Chimp had that made, and I took the Giga Ga hostage. I took the Giga Ga hostage. They dare try battle the Mega. I'll show you what happens. Okay. Um, here's some special pieces. Spot Stacker made this for me. It's a CYOTNO 999 silver. Just another average stacker made me this CYOTNO. If you're new to my channel, um, at the end of every video I say, catch you on the next one. So it became an acronym. And I'm actually wearing a CYOTNO shirt right now. That's right, I do have international stacker gear, guys. Um, so check it out. It should be right below this video. Oh, you see, should see shirts and stuff. Now this stuff is special. First silver bar I ever made. I made this with MK bars. So that's the first I poured that. Second silver I ever poured was with Mindo Mint. That was a really fun stream and I made this puppy there. What is this? This is 18.7 ounces. And this is my first poured gold I made. Now I didn't pour the gold, it was a planchet, but I stamped it um, and did all the finishing work on it with MK bars. So that was super cool. Uh, videos of all this stuff is in, on my channel if you guys wanna check it out. Oh, one more thing about silver baggins for those people that want rare stuff. Uh, Novus got him to make me this funny uh, copper round uh, and it has silver baggins stamp on it. So this is the first only copper round silver baggins has ever done, super rare. For the hardcore collectors out there. Oh, I should say Silver Dragons, excuse me. Silver card, I just got this uh, when I met up with, uh, oh, face reveal, I got to <laughs> edit that. When I met up with uh, JT Coin Rings, 100 ounce Pyramid Bar, 100 ounce uh, Inglehard. What is this? Oh no, it's the Beer Flu. I got the 10 ounce Beer Flu bar. And you guys can say Beer Flu because YouTube still censors. A couple 100 ounce Johnson Matthews, three kilos here, um, two RMCs and one Asahi. This one's coming to you guys on the Mega Ga. These are stacks of five 10 ounce bars. So that's 100, like over 200 ounces. We got cool stuff like the US Assay Office, Strategic Silver Supply, Johnson Matthew, um, another Johnson Matthew, Englehard. Some really cool stuff, Can it, Royal Canadian Man. And this stuff's gonna kind of melt stuff, I'll melt it. We got some stackers here from Scottsdale Silver. So they're great for earthquake prone areas, but I'm leaving California, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And some stacker rounds, look at this, in Cuse. 
Look at that. I love, I love Scott Still Silver. And I'm trying to go through this quick and I bought the gimbal just for you guys because before people said it was too bumpy. So let me move the light over here. So we got a bunch. Uh, these are five ounce bars. You know we got some cool stuff. Geiger, Geiger, uh, Englehard, old school Englehard. Uh, old school Johnson Matthey. Bunch of five ounces, some more 10 ounces back here. Bunch of one ounces. We got stuff like Englehard, Johnson Matthey, Credit Suisse, Silvertown, Geiger. Um, some cool special ones over here. Just some really cool stuff, guys. Here's some more Scottsdale Silver. These are, uh, um, dang it, face reveal again. These are um, coin bars. So these are legal tender. So I think I got 10 or so of those. These are dragon bars. Don't touch, I'm touching the edge only. Legal tender. Legal tender in Australia. So these are more coin bars. They're one dollar. Bunch of Ingle hard rounds, super cool stuff. We got salivate and metal rounds. So look at these, these are his channel rounds. So we got some of these. We got this. The cat one, quiet on the set. We got some salivate and metal rounds here. There's channel rounds, some cool stuff. A sheet, uncut sheet of um, Silvertown bars. This is a bunch of random one ounce stuff. Most of it's gonna get melted down when I start pouring. Yes, I'm gonna start pouring soon. But we do have some of these I'm not gonna melt down. Some beer flu rounds, I've got a couple of those. Pretty much generic stuff that will be melted down. Here's a stack of really cool U.S. Assay Office Strategic Metal Supply. I love these a lot. If you find these for cheap guys, they have a nice premium. So those go along kind of with this bar, Strategic uh, uh, U.S. National Strategic Stockpile for Silver. So that's really cool stuff. Um, some trade units here. These also carry a nice premium. So if you can find some trade units uh, for good deals, they're good to pick up. A bunch of little rando rounds. Oh, these are cool. I'm going to make a video of these. These are Liberty uh, rounds. This guy went to, got in trouble, almost went to jail for a million years, but he got out of it for the most part. Uh, we're getting into Perth Mint stuff. So here, and this, we almost had a collapse. Let's fix that. You guys, is the camera smoother? I'm on a gimbal, is it smoother? Cause before it was like crazy. People were like, it's crazy. Um, so this is all your Perth Mint stuff right here. So we got a bunch of kookaburras. These are 10 high, I think, something like that. Uh, a bunch of koalas here. These are all like 10 high, something like that. Here's some really old kookaburras. Um, here's a roll of, oh no, domestic stackers here. She always tries to take my silver when she comes. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Put that back. Anyways, <laughs> this is how the um, this is how the rolls of koalas come from the mint. A uh, bunch of Perth mint stuff. This is Birds of Paradise. I get a lot of this stuff to flip, hold and flip, guys. Bottle bottlenose dolphin. So I got those. Uh, let me move this light around here. Um, we got this. Oh. The landing on the moon ones. We got some of the Zodiac ones, but I'm not really into them. Sorry guys, I'm really trying not to face reveal. A bunch of Germania mint stuff. This is a uns or sealed tube of the allegories. I think it's this allegory. And then this is like 25 of the other allegories. And then I have this, recently got acquired this. Thank you, Germania mint. They, uh, sent me this to check out and review and they also sent me an oak leaf so thank you so much germanium mint those were cool um we got the valiant 10 ounce coin cool stuff a couple other big ones and just some random stuff over here like oh uh, these are the white whales so this is the um the white whale this is the um, privateer series uh from providence so we have a bunch of those um, oh, over here, we've got some of uh, the trade dollar restrikes, the British trade dollars. Uh, we got a bunch of the uh, Czech Lions here. We got a good deal on those with eBay bucks. This is a bunch of random stuff. This is like Fiji stuff, like the Mermaid, uh, the Great Wave, Chiyu Chong Ways, a uh, sealed thing of the Chiyu Chong Way. Or no, these are the Zen. 
sealed tube and then you chew chong ways. Then we got here the two ounce, um, don't touch it without a glove, I ask. Uh, two ounce um, koala with the baby from the Perth Mint. A bunch of other rounds here are coins. These are all coins. Look at these. I did well on these. And Queen Anne's Revenge, I might flip a couple of these. We got nine of those. Uh, we got the seahorse. Seahorse. You know I'm gonna put on a hat. I'm gonna put on a hat so I don't face reveal as much. Um, these are just a bunch of quarter ounce Noah's Ark coins. We've got some of the bigger Noah's Ark. Bunch of the iguanas. Uh, we got some of these dragon coins. Got some of these elephant. Are these the water buffalo? I think these are the water buffalo ones. Uh, a couple coins I was given here, Christmas one. Um, these are coins I need to go through, but this is all world silver, international silver. We've got a bunch of Ikes, 40%. This is more silver that needs to be gone through and added. Whew. I'm sorry I'm rushing it, guys, but if I don't rush it, people are going to be like, it's too, uh, too crazy. And if I rush it, people are like, oh, and if it's bumpy, everyone's mad at me. I'm trying my best to make you all happy. All right, so coming over here. British, bunch of Queen's Beasts, really cool. You know, the Queen's Beasts are super cool. Two ounce, really good series. Those would do really well and um, are, are doing well keeping their, what's it called? Value. Here's a side view, bang! All this government issue bullion. So what do we got here? Um, this is all British, bunch of Britannia's, Oriental border. Uh, Britannia's are in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Look at those super cool oriental border. Bunch of other types of Britannia's. Over here is Mexican. So here's a sealed Libertad Onza. So 1985 sealed roll like these. Those carry a premium if you get a good deal. Uh, the newer day Libertad's. Those are one and tenth ounce Libertad's. Bunch of Canadian silver here. A bunch of these are gonna be random coins. Like, look, that's the Bigfoot Privy, and that's like the Ford Piece one. So uh, just a ton of silver from Canada. That's all Canadian. Um, Philharmonics. Um, these are going to be your uh, South African Kruger, Kruger round. And look at these. I'm only touching the edge. Oh, I love this coin. I should have got more of these. Look at this. I love that coin so much. I think they're called spades. Then we got a few colorized uh, American Silver Eagles. You guys, I used to have over 6,000 ounces of silver. Now I'm at probably like 5,700, something like this. Um, I had to sell 500 American Silver Eagles back in February because I needed to cash for new, um, a new project because the beer flu came and messed everything up. So I only have one, two, three, four, about five rolls left of American Silver Eagles, but I've got them. Don't worry, we're gonna get to the gold soon. Uh, these all here are Canadian dollars. So everything from the goose dollar to the canoe. Uh, and then there's a third type in here, but I don't see it. Oh, there's a Morgan silver dollar. Let's put that in the right area. So anyways, those are all Canadian silver dollars. Um, I would say probably 200 there of those. Um, here is pandas and the pandas come in sheets from the chinese mint so three sheets of 15 pandas i believe uh moving on here we got a bunch let me uh fix this light here let me open this here a little bit see if that helps we have a bunch of barber dimes like a ton of them barber quarters kennedy's these are all 90%. Everything here is 90%, except these are 40%ers I found coin roll hunting, so I got to cash those in. I don't like 40%. I trade them for 90, so I got them separated. Uh, these are all Franklins. These are all Peace Dollars. These are all Morgan Silver Dollars. I counted these a while ago. I believe there's like 400 and something there. Uh, Mercury Dimes, my fave. And look at this, a gift from Silver Nitrate. Thank you, Silver Nitrate. You guys, if you want to send me mail, a postcard, anything... A shout out to your channel, some stickers. 
in the description below, you'll find my P.O. box. Send it on down. Here's some uh, um, more Morgan dollars I have to the side for a project. Here's a project. This is going to a brand new silver stacker. I helped him get his first um, purchase underway. So that will be dis departing the stack soon. Um, but don't worry, I'm not selling. I'm just helping people out and shifting stuff. So do not panic. Uh, these are all quarters. I'm not sure how many are there, but it's a lot. I mean, if you're in the arcade back in the day, you could pay, play video games for hours with that. A million walkers. I mean, I'd probably say there's $400 face of quarters there, if I had to guess. Um, we got some other cool coins here. Some old stuff. So there's seated uh, half dime, I think. Seated Liberty dime, so stuff like that. Uh, three cent piece, super cool. Um, here's a bunch of just normal dimes. Look at that, look how deep that goes. Uh, this is from the Giuseppe crash. It was a ship that crashed, I think it was an English ship, and they brought all the silver up from it and they reminted coins, so I got this from that. So this is from that shipwreck, really cool. Uh, Standing Liberty Quarters. Oh, and in here we got some Colombian halves and seated Liberty halves or quarters or whatever. Um, so that's kind of the rare air stuff. I don't have a ton of it, but I have some seated Liberty dime. Super cool. And now um, all this stuff here is all world silver. This right here is probably a couple hundred ounces of world silver. For instance, this is like a hundred and something Saudi Arabian silver real. So I've got literally every country in here. Um, here's Switzerland, uh, Spain, Canada, Great Britain. Look at all this Great Britain, uh, Spanish, Australian. But one of the coolest here, look at the Japanese ones in here. And there is gold and silver Japanese bars in here from the 1800s. I've got a video on this unboxing, so make sure to check it out. But look at that, guys. Egyptian, Austrian, all my silver I buy around the world, Philippines, um, I've gotten those bags separated. Here I come up with a little bit better system than that, but now let's get into the gold. All right, so getting into the gold, here's some gold I panned a while ago. Uh, it's like half a gram, so that's cool. A little gold bracelet, a bunch of gold coins like have some sovereign type stuff. Uh, Perth Mint, Australian, kangaroo, some dos pesos, the MK bars when I poured. Oh, and that's a half ounce. Um, some old American gold. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. 1863, I got this at spot price by the way, hello. Um, some Saudi silver coins, some dos pesos from Mexico. Uh, that's a quarter eagle, I believe. Whoops. Or is that a half ounce? I don't know. Uh, bison. That's a quarter. Uh, some commemorative U.S. dollars, five dollar piece. Some more Saudi gold guineas. I've all the styles of gold guineas that I know of. I spent a lot of time overseas. Some Helvetica. Look at those, Swiss. Oh, here's another old US coin. Super cool. Uh, this is from Africa, gold coin. Um, what is this? Um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, is this a Ducat? This might be a Ducat, Ducat, however you want to say it, Ducat. T tomato, tomato. Uh, let's see here. Oh, three dollar piece. Oh, these are really rare, guys. It's, it has a little bit of damage, but three dollar piece. This is legit, and I got it at spot because of the damaged rim. Look at that. That is, that is crazy. And I got it when silver is so much or gold is so much cheaper. Uh, Ten rubles, Russian rubles. Uh, we got 20 German marks here, a couple of those. Um, we just got some weight silver I got from the Middle East. That's not really a sovereign. That's just what they stamped it with. 
Uh, here's like a bar, some little gold bars. Um, oh, this is nice. Oh, geez. This is poured gold. I think this is 18 grams, something like that. So nice little nugget. And we got some gold backs here. And again, gold backs, I have videos on gold backs. They're not for stacking, guys. They're meant more for activism, but I have some. And then some cool gold here from uh, Dubai, when I was in Dubai. And I have some more gold, and I have some more silver. And here, that's being given away in the Mega Goss, so that's a bunch more there. And even behind me yet, I have more stuff. You see here, uh, these two Saudi Rials are going out to a viewer who won them. This is going out to a viewer who won it. Um, I just got this in, thank you so much. This is a coin I'm flipping. Here's some um, copper coins from the Roman Empire. I'm coming back over here because that just reminded me. I have, it was just here, where'd it go? Look at the Austrian, look at these towers, guys. That is Bunch of towers in there. Look at those. Those are all towers. Here it is. I lost it for a second. So this is a real piece of eight. You see there? Spanish piece of eight. It's called a cob coin. Uh, they would actually shave off piece of the coin. There's a couple Hispan or Spanish coins in there from the 1800s from a shipwreck. Uh, or 1700s, sorry. That's from Pirate Horde, 1799. And then also in here, just empty it out, I guess. Just empty it out. Okay, there we go. Uh, here's some silver denarius from the Roman Empire. Super cool stuff. Look at that. I need to get more Roman Empire stuff. And then this is from the shipwreck. Shipwreck confirmed, Pirate Horde. Got paperwork on them, so that's cool. And here's that piece of eight and that other Spanish coin. Super cool stuff, guys. Wow, we got through this and it's only been about 28 minutes. Not bad, not bad. But honestly, I think this is probably, come on, let me fix this. I think this is probably the last full stack video I'll do. It just takes so much work to get this out, um, but I am going to make a video on how to store your silver because I have this out and I'm going to show you 5,700 ounces. So I mean, we're so close to 6,000 ounces and I was over 6,000. Dang it. I'll get back there, guys. Don't worry. I'm just waiting for spot to drop a little bit. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm going to show you how to store this much silver. And it's actually not as bad as you would think. So I'm going to make that video. We'll make a poured silver video. What do you guys like the best? The poured silver? The bars, the um, collector type coins, you know, semi numismatic coins from around the place, the government bullion, the gold. Do you like the constitutional silver? Look at this, guys. What do you guys like the best? Do you like the world coins? I love those right now. Do you like the mint sealed tubes? What do you like? What's your favorite? And I almost forgot the lost Canadian maple leaf hoard. This was found by a metal detectorist in Arizona. I bought like a hundred and, I bought the whole hoard. It was about a hundred and uh, 40 or 50, something like this. I gave away a bunch for different giveaways, but yeah. What do you guys think? And check this out, gold plated Morgan. That was pretty cool find. Alrighty, well, that's it. Sorry I didn't go super in depth, but I mean, you guys get the idea. Mega, mega, mega. Go me, go me, go me, go, go me, go me, go me, go me, go me, go. If you guys know what mega is, the mega ga. I give away all kinds of gold and silver. Get back to the viewers because without you, this journey would be boring. I wouldn't have anyone to share, you know, to share my um, triumphs with. I wouldn't have anyone to share my triumphs with, guys. So. Thanks for coming along with me. It's been a crazy adventure, a crazy journey. 
and something tells me I have only just begun. Let me know below what you think. Am I crazy? Am I a genius? Am I a stable genius? This is not a political promotion, but yes, I do have one Trump round, okay? Am I a stable genius? Okay? And these here are from China. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the channel. Um, joking aside, I try to keep it apolitical and just really present to you my journey and triumphs and successes and even failures around the world stacking this stuff. Gold and silver. I hope you enjoyed it, and I guess we'll say... Oh, I can do two now. I guess I'll say... Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Woo! Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. journey to find silver.